This is a lava pool that is rising every minute. Will I be able to beat Minecraft before it reaches the build limit? Well, let's find out. First things first, I grabbed some wood to make the necessary stuff that I needed and grabbed some sweet berries for food. Considering I was in 250 by 250 border, there was no villages around. This meant instead of getting iron from an iron golem, I spent 30 minutes trying to find some iron and gold ores. After some time, I had enough iron and gold to make some armor and tools. Before I went into the nether, I made an iron bucket and grabbed some water. I used the water to make another portal from the lava that was soon to rise. After that, I found a lonely axolotl. So I gave it a little home. The chats decided to name it Jerry. Yes, sir. Since Jerry took up all of the room of the water bucket, I made another, grabbed some water, and placed it on the nether portal. The reason why we did this is because when we get back from the nether, the lava would already rose all the way to the surface, making it so we instantly die when we get back. But considering I placed down the water, it would have made the lava into obsidian instead. So I grabbed the stuff I needed and went to the nether. Oh, okay. It was not long until I almost died. Screw y'all. You know what? Screw you, buddy. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. After that, I thought it was best to get my revenge. Burn, baby! Burn! Thank you for your service. After that peaceful destruction, Burn! I eventually found the nether fortress. Now it was time to find the blaze spawn, which I eventually did, but then this happened. Bye, have a great time. <laughs> Oh my gosh! How did I survive that? So after that incident, I went back to the spawner and made a little trap for the blazes where I got as many blaze rods as I could. Unfortunately, when I almost fell to my death, I resulted in me eating up all the food that I had to heal up with. Since I did that, I had to be careful on what I do because if I deal damage, I wouldn't be able to heal at all. Considering I was a silly boy, I did the opposite thing and take as much damage as I could. I'm so proud of myself. Luckily, I got the blaze rods i needed and somehow made it out alive yo 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 oh my gosh to make sure i don't die from hunger i grabbed some brown and red mushrooms and made myself some mushroom stew i then traded with some piglins by mining some gold and got some ender pearls and obsidian out of it i used obsidian to make another portal and went through i then slowly made my way to the surface trying to avoid every pockets of lava there was yes we made it up to surface so then i made the ender pearls into ice ender and threw it Wait, no! Is it just not loud? Well, I guess the plan is all out the window. So instead, I did something really stupid. Oh my gosh, I think I might have just done something terrible, dude. It should be coming up any second. Oh my gosh! We need to make a house for him. Oh, this is lagging entirely, dude. I'm gonna set Jerry free. Hope you survive this, Jerry. Oh, it's coming up. It's coming up! <laughs> I can't see anything. No, I think he's gone. One second, I have to make this right. I still think he's still there. Oh, he's alive! The mysterious Jerry 2.0.